What's up everybody, this is your boy Fatal Shot coming at you with another video today and I want to talk about the Call of Duty community and why it never knows what it wants. So this is why we have Call of Duty World War II and this is why Call of Duty World War II is a bit boring. So let me explain. So back during, you know, Call of Duty's, you know, heydays, I guess you could call it, whenever Call of Duty used to be the thing that everybody used to do on the weekend, whenever everybody used to talk about it, and everybody used to say, hey man, you want to get on some Call of Duty? Let's get on some Call of Duty. Well, no one really says that anymore. Uh, it's all about Fortnite now. It's all about PUBG now. It's all about other games instead of Call of Duty. But I think it's our fault. It, it's not really the developer's fault. Now, the supply drop system and microtransactions, that's a different story. But just hear me out for a second. It's our fault. The Call of Duty community's fault. And let me explain. So, back whenever the Call of Duty community was whining during, you know, after uh, Black Ops 2, saying that this game, we want more innovation because, you know, it's just a copy and paste game. That's how it had been for years, it seems. Well, that was the result of Advanced Warfare. The developers listened to us. We got a new uh, branch of Call of Duty, or active, you know, the Call of Duty branches. Uh, instead of Infinity Ward and Treyarch, we have Infinity Ward, Treyarch, and Sledgehammer Games, which stepped in and done a lot of innovation, I say for the least, because they added the first advanced movement system in Advanced Warfare. That actually made people feel really, feel really great because um, during Advanced Warfare's life cycle, about three months into the life cycle from launch, people were very, very excited. People loved the game. People uh, praised the game, and people said that the game was exactly what the Call of Duty community wanted. But shortly after, people started to say that this game was just a bit too much. And then after that, they started to hate the game whenever a lot of the silly supply drop stuff came out like gingerbread skins and then people started to realize that the jetpacks and stuff and the boost jumps was a little bit too much for Call of Duty. They got back on older Call of Duties and they're like, yeah, this is what we want. We want the older Call of Duty. And then after Advanced Warfare, we got Black Ops 3. People weren't really happy that we got the advanced movement again, but Black Ops 3 was dated to be one of the best Call of Duties out there by marketing standards. It was one of the best selling Call of Duty games ever. And it's one of my favorite, one of my top three favorite Call of Duties actually in the series. So I do say that Black Ops 3 is probably the best advanced movement Call of Duty to be you know, made. But Call of Duty had been, you know, going on a downslope. People had been, you know, people got tired of the advanced movement after Advanced Warfare. People said, no, we don't want this anymore. We want original boots on the ground. So people whined for innovation. So let's get this straight. People whined for innovation. We got innovation. Then we whined for boots on the ground. We didn't get that because all the other developers thought we needed to still do this innovation because think about it when you whine for innovation every developer has to start making their game immediately so it, they can't just flip another chart and start a new game they have to keep what they're doing and you know the Call of Duty community got really mad after you know Black Ops 3 with Infinite Warfare people said okay this is ridiculous Call Infinite Warfare was one of the most hated Call of Duty games ever by you know Call of Duty community standards and I think that is totally stupid and I've got a video coming out uh, you know shortly on why Infinite Warfare didn't deserve the hate that it got not saying that it was the best Call of Duty ever but it definitely didn't deserve the hate that it was received you know it's our fault we are the one that wanted the innovation so we got it and then we whine for boots on the ground so Sledgehammer steps in and they make Call of Duty World War 2 People were happy when we first got our hands on the beta. We said that this is going to be exactly what we want. You know, we're excited that divisions are coming out, yet we were confused. Then we started to get mad about a month after the game came out. It got boring really fast. Now, I can testify to this. This game got really boring. But let me be clear. I didn't ask for boots on the ground. I honestly like advanced movement. You can dislike the video if you want to, you can you can share your opinion down below, but I like the advanced movement Call of Duties. Not as much as Advanced Warfare, of course, but I like the Black Ops 3 style advanced movement. Now, moving forward, 
we whined and we bickered for the boots on the ground, you know, kind of Call of Duty with World War II. We got that. Now people are whining again that this game's too boring, that this game is just too bland, which I think it's too boring, I think it's too bland. But I didn't ask for World War II, I asked for another game. I asked for Advanced Warfare 2, I didn't get that. Well, the community got what it wanted, and now they're whining again, now they're mad again. This is the problem with Call of Duty. This is exactly the problem with Call of Duty. You see, people wonder why Call of Duty is not doing as good as Fortnite. People wonder why Fortnite is taking over the gaming industry, because Fortnite knows what it wants. The Fortnite community says they want this, they add this, and they're happy with it. <clears throat> and if they don't like something, then, you know, the, the developers, they look into it and they start, you know, asking the community, well, uh, how could we change this? How could we fix this? You know, the Call of Duty developers do the same thing, but then when they ask for feedback, we give them feedback, harsh feedback, that is, and then they try to change it based on our opinions. When we give them our opinions, they change it, and then we get mad because they did what we wanted. It's so hypocritical that I cannot stand the Call of Duty community for this. Now, me being in the Call of Duty community, I can understand, you know, I really can. I played Advanced Warfare all through the game's life cycle. I played Black Ops 3, and then I played Infinite Warfare. I can understand the game, the style of game got a little bit too much, but if you want boots on the ground, go back to Black Ops 2, go back to Modern Warfare 2, go back to COD 4. If you want boots on the ground, go play boots on the ground game. Let us, the people that want innovation, have our fun. Don't whine about it. Don't bicker about it. I can't stand, you know, the people that whine and bicker about the innovation, <coughs> excuse me, and whine about all the other stuff, and then, you know, they turn around and they're like, okay, we want change. Okay, we, you got your change. You got your Call of Duty World War II. Okay, your, 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 your cake is finished. Now eat your cake and go mind your own business and sit in your corner and play World War II. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. I'm still a little uh, sick from, you know, the last uh, episode of, you know, my cold. You know, you whine for the innovation and you got the innovation. You whine for boots on the ground. You got boots on the ground. Now, let me make a quick disclaimer. I'm not targeting this video to specific people. I am targeting this video towards the entire Call of Duty community. <coughs> Specifically because the Call of Duty community needs to see and open their eyes to why Call of Duty is suffering. Now, I'm not saying that Call of Duty is dying. I'm simply saying that Call of Duty is in a down, in, like in a down state simply because the Call of Duty community never knows what it wants. Now, I can attest for some of this. Now, I said in some of my videos that I think this should be changed, and then they changed it, and I didn't like it. But that wasn't because I'm a flip-flopper. It's because the change that they made was so drastic. Like, okay, uh, for instance, if you guys played Black Ops 3, the Vesper nerf and the Vesper buff, they, they, they basically changed that gun the whole entire life cycle of the game. It was one of my favorite guns in the whole entire game, and they changed it up so much, it pissed me off. And I got tired of using it. So I got mad at the Call of Duty community for it. And I said, you know what? Why don't we just stop asking for them to change the weapon? Let them do it one more time and see how it is. Let's just use it how they want to change it. After all, it's their game, not ours. Now, I know the community makes up the whole entire game, basically. But at the same time, you've got to realize, when they make a change, it's because we wanted them to. They never wanted to make advanced movement Call of Duty. We asked for it. We literally asked for innovation, and that's what they gave to us. <coughs> what is your what is your thoughts on innovation? What did you want? Some kind of bunny in Call of Duty? What did you want? Toy Story in Call of Duty? Did you not want advanced movement? Because that's the only option that I saw, is going to the future. People whined that going to the future was too much. But that's basically the only option that we had. What did you want us to go fight in like 70 AD with rocks and stones? I think that would be very, very, very boring. I mean, we're already fighting in World War II with a bunch of, you know, weapons that isn't, you know, 70 AD, and it's still boring. So tell me, my friend, tell me, would it be better to go to the ancient times and have Call of Duty Greek Warfare and fight in, you know, some kind of ancient battle during, you know, some kind of, you know, crazy biblical time. It's insane why people would want this kind of stuff. 
because Call of Duty is not designed for that. And yes, I know Call of Duty's roots originated from World War II, but you gotta realize Call of Duty made like a thousand different World War II games. Now, that's an exaggeration, but of course, they made a lot of Call of Duty World War II games. They made World at War, they made COD 2, they made COD 3, you know, they made Finest Hour. They, I mean, they made the original Call of Duty, that was a World War II game. They made a lot of Call of Duty World War 2s. And then here we are with another Call of Duty World War 2, and it's still boring as heck. But no, the community wanted this. The community got what they asked for. So everybody whining that Call of Duty World War 2 is boring? No, no, you have no right to whine. Please stop whining, you have no right to whine. You're the one who asked for this. This is not a rant video specifically for people that, you know, like the game. I like the game. It's a fun game sometimes, but it can be boring. This is about all I have to say. This is not a targeted video towards a specific person. This is just my thoughts and opinions on what I feel about the Call of Duty community. And I know so I'm gonna get, I know I'm gonna get a comment saying, "You just told us not to whine, and you're literally whining." Okay, listen, I'm not the one who asked for the innovation, or uh, not the innovation. I'm not the one who asked for boots on the ground. I wanted more innovation. So there you have it. I wanted more advanced movement, and that's not what I got. So I'm gonna leave this video here, guys. Please give me some constructive criticism. I want to know what you guys think. I am really looking forward to the comment section down below on this video. Thank you guys for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please sure to slap the like on this video. And turn your notifications on so you get notified every time I upload a video. And subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you guys for watching. It's been your boy Fatal Shop. And I'm out, guys.